in a, in a debate recently, someone was like, oh, Horus, you know, he didn't have a father. It's like, yes, he did. Um, Osiris was cut to bits and his penis, sorry for any Christians, uh, was, was eaten by fishes and they, they made a, um, a phallus out of wood and he, and he used that to, uh, impregnate Isis, the queen of heaven, um, Ishtar, Isis, um, um, he used that to impregnate Isis and, to, and then she birthed Horus, the Avenger, Horus, the sun god, um, so he he was that was not an immaculate conception. He was he was birthed by a zombie with a wooden phallus. All right, <laughs> okay. So uh, bonk. Anyway, um, so no Christ. The the story of Christ is special. I, I, you know the story of Buddha and all you know all these things where they you know they they suffer. No, they they suffer for themselves or or the, or they suffer to give us some sort of technology which we don't need. Um, you know, people think, oh, it's great, you know, look at all these creature comforts. Yeah, look at what you have to do all day and eat, eat crap all day and do something you don't care about all day so you can go home and try to forget about it and, like, you know, relax instead of doing something fulfilling and spending time with the people you care about, you know? But hey, you know, you got, you got your, uh, whatever the kids do nowadays, hoverboards and Facebook. Uh, anyway. <laughs> with your rock and roll. I am all over the place in this one. I really wanted to stay on topic about the Pluto thing because um, it's it's important and I f unfortunately feel like it might have been buried somewhere in the middle of this rant um, as I am um, to get off topic often. Um, but what are you going to do? I'm doing my best. Um, trying to get it out there. Trying to get my thoughts, um, trying to get people thinking, trying to get you know, uh, you know, dialogue going. I find a, the one of the best ways to get people to question things is you just keep asking them questions and having them answer them, um, because it clearly, you know, once you start explaining things, you know, and like you know, well, oh, all right, and then oh, okay, and then you know, it just becomes very clear. That, um, well, what about this? What about that? What about this? The, you know, it, it very, very quickly, they, they, they uh, get into a place where they can't answer questions. Science will just use terms where, you know, that, you know, some, some, you know, ridiculous term and they'll have a bunch of, um, math that, uh, explains it. And here's the thing about all that, all that, um, complicated physics where the, you know, they have a chalkboard full of garbage. Um, does that look familiar? Um, hieroglyphs? You can't read that, just as the the common layman couldn't read the hieroglyphs. You, you, you know what the hieroglyphs say? Fish eyeball dude standing there. F you, ha ha ha. You know, it's it's that I don't. I I honestly don't think a lot of that stuff means anything other than like maybe at most ritualistic nonsense, which they're, they're all this all the mystery um, religions are so very 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 fond of. But anyway. Uh, look into this Pluto nonsense. Um, heard somewhere, I think it was Richie, they, um, they're, they're going to be sending, uh, an, another mission there. So, uh, look for that. Uh, also too, um, no, no base on the moon yet. Pause. Wait for explanation. Like we have all these space stations, all these, we have a permanent satellite that we could build anything we want onto, including launch, because one of the big things NASA is, you know, it's like, oh, we need to spend so much energy to escape the Earth's um, gravitational field and the ozone layer and all this other protective stuff that magically keeps everything held to a spinning ball. And, um, you know, they need to burn off all this energy to do so. Then why not do it from the moon? Uh, probably because they'll, they'll have a hard time faking pictures from the dark side of the moon. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Look into it. Ugh, this this ended up being like almost 18 minutes long. That's ridiculous. I'm so sorry about being all over the place. Um, this is might be the last one for the day because, like I said, I was trying to think of things that no one else is really talking about or or, or bringing to it to it to attention. I mean, you know, you, you know, there's plenty of other guys who, like I said have nice little videos and will show the show the actual thing and you know all this other stuff and I'm I'm if if you don't do if if you unfortunately don't do 
the research I've already done and look into it for yourselves blindly on, on like, cause I, I'm not g giving you links other than, than, you know, doing a few name drops. Um, you know, I, you, you may not know what I'm, you know, or even believe what I'm talking about and immediately dismiss it. Um, so be it. Um, if at, if you think that sounds absolutely bananas and, um, you know, you're thinking that can't be real. Well, then look into it, you know, spend, spend, you know, going to Google and search, you know, you know, NASA Pluto project and you'll, they'll, they'll get the ball rolling. I don't have to tell you how to use the internet. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, look into it, comment, troll away, I invite it, um, uh, I always, I, I, I feel like I might do, do better under attack than trying to sit here and trying to be like, trying to think of something to, um, explain my point, because like I said earlier, a lot of these things are just so plain to me that I have a heart, you know, it's like the emperor has no clothes. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? He's effing naked. What do you, what are you talking about? Like, you know, it's a, like, I have a hard time sometimes, um, structuring my, um, how I want to project my thoughts verbally. Oh, <laughs> that went well. All right. Yeah. That, that explained everything. Anyway, uh, look into it. Um, I say anyway, a lot. I apologize. Um, I, I should start saying like share, subscribe, and all that. Um, even though I, I, you know, obviously, if you, I don't know, people say it. New to this YouTube's thing. Um, I need you know a sign off and a sign in and all that fancy stuff. At least right, because I can't do any graphics or you know even get any background music going because I listen to uh, Pandora on my phone, so it's you know it's one or the other. I can't even have any cool background music. The, um, the only, you know, good, good, uh, uh, radio stations you can get in my area are like college stations and they don't even get good until later at night. Wow. That was like a minute of nonsense. Okay. What did I say? I was going to end this thing like five minutes ago. I'm awesome at goodbyes. If you weren't wondering, uh, yeah. Okay. Look into it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're thinking. Want you to think. Want to have a dialogue? Um, we we need each other. Um, I've been a big part of. Well, I can't say part because I've been doing anything directly, uh, but I've been within the truther community um, for for years. I I honestly got my start. Um, and you know, well, I'm not start, start. I've been studying religion and mythology and history my whole life. Um, the occult, all that stuff. I actually came, um, I actually came to Jesus Christ through my study of the occult for anyone who's wondering those people who are like, open your mind. It's one of those things too. You like try to talk about Jesus and people immediately get like a disgusted look on their face, at least around here in the Northeast. I don't know about where anyone else lives, but, um, you know, and the thing you get all the time is, you know, you should open your mind. It's like, dude, I've studied that stuff. You know, some, some woman was trying to talk to me about, about HB, uh, Blavatsky. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I know all about her. She was the muse for Hitler and, uh, Aleister Crowley. Great, great, great woman. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, look into stuff, do your own research. Um, you know, um, like I said, if you want to find someone more, more together, that is, you know, um, will give you the links. Like I said, Richie from Boston, I think personally from everyone I've, I've, um, checked out, I, I agree with him the most. He, I think he's the most on track. I think he's very good at drawing connections which is the very, very, like a lot of the, the, uh, guys you'll, you'll, when you, when you, when you start getting into the truther quotations, I hate the term truther because what, so it's, I think everyone else should just call, start calling themselves liars if we're truthers. Anyway, um, you know, once you get, um, you, you start, um, I get off track so easily. One moment, please. I don't even remember what I was talking about, but I, I'm just going to keep the train, even though I hop the tracks on the, on the different tracks going. I was about to say earlier, um, one of the first truthers I, I actually um, got into was, was uh, Alex Jones. And um, he's one of those people where he will, like, 
say a headline that is in, impactful, might matter, might be might be real, but then he won't talk about anything. He'll just rant and rave and, you know, oh, I'm so mad, I'm a, I'm a badger in your closet, or what the heck crazy stuff he says. Some some great stuff on um, um, Super Deluxe, um, uh, Vic Berger. He's a funny, funny guy. Anyway, um... But yeah, you know, when you when you first start to start to check stuff out, you get you know you get led in certain 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 directions. I I like the term gatekeeper. I don't know who who first coined it, um, because that's basically what they are. You you reach a certain plateau of understanding. You you get a certain amount of information. You start to smell something's a little fishy, and then you um you hit someone like like Alex Jones, and they 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 immediately keep you at that level and you never look any further and you never get any deeper you just stay mad every day oh can you believe this sir you know like you know what's the point in that um you know so as you as you progress and you start to see who's real and who's who's not i just remember what i was talking about you you start to see that that, that a lot of people have a, a peace they have a, a you know they have a piece of the picture you know like Someone might understand that the the Earth is clearly flat, and we live in a self-contained or you know uh, mechanism, um, but they don't believe in God. Or you know people see everything that's going on in the world with the Satanism and all this you know BS spirituality, but they still think that there's aliens. You know there's there's just, there's um you know there's a lot of people who are on the right track who um don't. Uh, in my personal opinion, um, though I, I think I'm also good at putting um, things together. But like I said earlier, um, I've been spending my whole life. When I was like six, seven years old, I was I was reading uh, you know Greek and Norse, uh, 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 mythology books and like you know stuff like that. Like I was that's that's what I was into. Like I was I was I was I um, I mean I used to read the Bible as as a reference book. You know, it was it was in it was in there with the bag of Vegeta and the you know the you know the 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 book of the dead and you know all this other all that other stuff. It was just another 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 reference book, and you know until I started drawing connections. You know, all all roads you know lead to Rome. I'm remembering something else that I was talking about earlier that I dropped. Basically, um, you, you see very clearly that um, everyone is is everyone is set against Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ weren't weren't real, why would everyone be set against him? So that's basically my my logic uh, for that. Um, but I as I, I have personally experienced um, supernatural occurrences. I have felt the Holy Spirit and the love of God. Um, you know, I have. You know, I it, it scares me when people say that they talk to God and God responds. Um, that's that's one of those immediate uh, like. Unfortunately, I don't. I don't mean to sound like a snob, and no offense, but I'm immediately. If someone's talking back to you, you're allowed to ask. Hey, you know, though you're totally saying you're God or you're Jesus or you're the you know the uh, the Archangel Gabriel, Marco or whatever.